Hello Parkwood, Pastor Bill here. Would like to share midweek encouragement from the Holy Scripture. And uh, I have entitled it Prayer for the Unity of the Church. Scripture reading from 1 Corinthians 12. And actually I'm starting with verse 12. For as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and have all been made to drink into one spirit. This is the key verse which speaks to us that we are baptized by the Holy Spirit into one body. And we will find out later on in the text that that body is actually the body of Christ. It's the church, it's his church. For in fact, the body is not one member, but many. If the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I'm not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear should say, because I'm not an eye, I'm not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where would be the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where would be the smelling? But now God has set the members, each one of them, in the body just as he pleased. So wherever you are in the body of Christ is where the Lord has placed you. And you are who you are. And you have your gifts and skills and passions. And you can contribute to the body of Christ for God's glory. Just be yourself, okay? And if there were all one member, where would the body be? But now indeed there are many members, yet one body. And the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you. Nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. So the hands are different than the feet, but they are not to be compared. They are not to despise each other and they are not to want to be the same. In the body of Christ, in the real church that started back in the day of Pentecost, and it's going all the way to the rapture, were so many, were so diverse. And the attitude and the spirit that we have with all the members of the body of Christ is one of love, it's one of unity, it's one of support, and it's one of appreciation. That's how we look at everyone that's been baptized by the Holy Spirit into the church and loves God sincerely and wants to glorify God and wants to serve his fellow man. I'm just going to keep reading. No. No. Much rather, those members of the body which seem to be weaker are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, on those we bestow greater honor. And our unpresentable parts have greater modesty. But our presentable parts have no need. But God composed the body, having given greater honor to that part which lacks it that there should be no schism in the body and that the members should have the same care for one another. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. 
or if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now, you are the body of Christ and members individually. God bless you. Bye.